Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jesse Lozano. I'm here with Mike motherfucking Madrid. What up? We got Sergio in the background producing. Get, get, what's up, Holmes? We're over here at Retro Mike's going for Nerd With Balls, podcast number three. Issue motherfucking three. Serge, got anything on that? Issue motherfucking three. Right on, right on. All right, let's see what we're going to cover this week, ladies and gentlemen. You guys want to just get into it? We've got a story or something like that to say out there in the pop world you want to bring out to the world. Do you know what? I watched Lucha Underground last night. It's pretty fucking dope. They had Johnny Mundo and Prince Puma go out for the whole fucking show. An hour of this them two going out for the Lucha Underground title. It was fucking dope. They had like four tables stacked up. And they were up top of the where the audience was at because it's like it looks like this big old industrial area. They went straight through all four of them. That shit was phenomenal. If you're not watching it, you guys need to watch it on the Al Ray Network. Right on. So for those who don't know what that is, what is it? What is Lucha? It's pretty know. it's pretty much a wrestling promotion. Uh new to the network. I think it's been on for like one season. Okay. Dope as fuck. Fuck WWE, even though I love WWE. But there's two commercial Who's your favorite character? From Lucha? WWE. WWE, yeah, I have to go with Paige. Princessa as fuck. Is it cause she's a girl? It's because she's a bad girl. Okay. Mm. Fair enough. Ah. Arr. You All got right. Anything? No, I got nothing. Search? The only thing is I give a shout out, tell everybody to go see that movie Dope. It is the shit. Check is, it out. Is that movie Dope so dope that you should go see it? Yeah. Ah. Isn't Jesus. that, isn't that like Jesus. movie Forrest that Whitaker. just came out not too long ago with Forrest Whitaker and like Fer- Pharrell are tied to it or some shit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Forrest Whitaker's in there? No, no, this is like, he executive produced it. Oh, shit. He's doing what it does. All right, let's get into some, uh, what's happening in pop world this week. Bye, bye, bye. So, bye, bye. Let's go for some of the people that like Heroes. The Heroes uh, Reborn, they're actually going to make an announcement that they're going to have it at Con. Or so that we San Diego Comic Con. What do you guys think about that? Have what? A panel? Yeah, panel. Talking about the Reborn. The Reborns? Oh, <laughs> it's a new season. New... It's like a 13 episode um, yeah, season. Because it started all over, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I never watched I Heroes. never watched it either. I don't know what the fuck it was. I think you said you saw the Asian guy, though, at La- Las Vegas that one time. Yes, I did. But I think it was time for There's a lot of Asian guys in Las Vegas. What are you talking about? But the, I guess there's a character, a star that plays a character in that show, and Jesse's like, oh my gosh, it's that guy. I remember his fucking name. Yeah, he was just walking around. He was he, he was doing his thing. Just trying to blow him. <laughs> so? That would be cool, Jesse. Yeah, I know. We touched lightsabers that night. We tried. So let's go for uh, Ghostbusters, actually. Today is the 18th, correct? 18th. Something like that. Yep. So yesterday they started the Ghostbusters. They started, uh, what's it called, filming. First day. So on-site production yesterday. It happened officially. No more bullshitting? Nope. It's it's happening. It'll be out next year, 2016. Can't wait that long. Pass. <laughs> You're going <laughs> to pass away? I know we touched, we touched on that in the past. Um, you guys excited for it? The more and more it gets into it, I am getting excited. I think I'm just more excited now that Chris Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth has been attached to it. You know he's going to be a badass somewhere. He's going to be a funny character. Oh, I He's going to be that character. What, what, what movie did it come out with where his fucking schlong was just out? I uh, didn't watch that porn, sir. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't literally out, but... In your mind it was out? No. <laughs> Every he came into it. It, so like, it, was movie, it was a movie with a couple... He comes in just, you know, fucking Chris Hemsworth just straight up jacked. And he's like, puts his leg up and you just see his fucking chub just hanging to the right side. I don't even think it was his chub. Not CGI. It was baloney wrapped Probably. up. Probably. I just don't remember what movie it was. All I know is that don't think you remember all this movie is Chris Hemsworth's penis. Well, wouldn't you remember it? That's true. Act like you're acting brand new and shit. You make me feel brand new. Are you done with that singing? Nah, bro, I just... Fuck Nara Balls and let's go get my singing career. Dude, you're a fucking R&B singer. Why are you with the nerds? My Carey, fuck you. I'm coming for your title. Yeah, because she's fucking done. Did you see her crack, <laughs> her video with her voice cracking and shit? Uh-uh. That was horrible. Come on, man. It, it couldn't be worse than fucking Jamie Foxx. <laughs> you Mayweather. know. Jamie Foxx. It was, it was worse than Jamie Foxx because that was Christmas, dude. She fucking killed that shit. Did you, not, did you not see that video that went viral back in Christmas where she was sitting there singing that shit a cappella and her Christmas? fucking voice just... <laughs> well, doesn't she... she, doesn't she there's something down. wrong with her voice. Something wrong with her head. Oh, well. You can't be that fucking... 
that popular and die out and not think that you're gonna be okay. I don't know. Don't disrespect Mimi like that. Mimi! Suck on this PP. Oh, I go Mimi. So let's look at this uh, Batman Ark of Night. So they had some gameplay, actually, E3 this week. Some gameplay? Oh, that too. You mean game? Uh, sure. Dunkin' Donuts. I like Dunkin' Donuts. So what do you guys think about this whole video game pop culture? Video game pop culture? Mm Mm-hmm. I've been about it, man. Like, I don't really keep up with it as much as I would like to. But, you know, I'm I'm for it. I Are like talking- that. Um, there's just, everything that has been shown about Arkham Knight has just been fucking sick from the character details down to just the gameplay of it, dude. It's, it, it looks sick. I'm for sure going to get it. There you go. Dread? The last... Batman game I've ever played was back in the 90s when Joker was doing Baby strike Bombs. Gum, make and don't forget the True Strike Gum. So I couldn't really give you an opinion on that. Um, the graphics look dope as hell. Well, right now we're going to watch some gameplay. We're going to see how it goes. Let's get a little strategy on that. So I don't know. Do you think uh, Robin's going to be in it? They probably have Nightwing. Why Nightwing? Because it's always Nightwing. Nightwing, it goes Batman, then Nightwing. Fuck. Do you know who I would like to have? I think, didn't they do it one time where you could get the Batman Beyond character? Beats me, bro. I think that was a few games ago. Wasn't that, Surge? When they had the, uh, you get the Terry, or the, what, what do they call him? The skin? The Batman Beyond skin? His foreskin? <laughs> <laughs> I, he's from the future, bro. I, I doubt he's circumcised. Or not circumcised. What do you call him? What is, what's his name? No, like, you know how you can get the special characters or whatever? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Well, yeah. So, Batman, awesome. Today, Rocksteady, dear Batman Arkham fan, we regret to inform you. We don't care about that. We just want to see some gameplay. Is there a Harley Quinn? Yeah, they're not going to get their cool stuff, their little prepackages and weird shit that they normally get. Fanboys are going to go all fucked up. Mm, fucking fanboys. Yeah, it's just the, the way all these um, games are going now. You have to like earn those packages or whatever. It's kind of well. I, I think this was like the special edition they're talking about, like with like, oh, you get like that 3D rendered Batman or Bangarang, whatever the fuck it's called, Bat Batarang. So here we go. We got Batman playing in the background. All right, I see his suit's a little jacked up. Like jacked up, like good, or jacked up, like jacked up. Yeah, the looks, 90s jacked up. No, it looks like it looks like it's more suit that's jacked up more than he is. Oh, he has red on now, huh? I don't know if it's red. That just might be a specific suit. That's probably. Like I think there's different. Suit. There's different suits that the game's gonna have. That, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. You went sky down. Oh, tricky. It looks very similar to all the previous games. The gameplay. Here he goes, knocking out a fucking thug. Yeah. Tripping people. Matt Bound's a bully. Yeah, you know, you got to pick on people that are picking on other people, though. That's true. Yeah, this looks pretty much like the same shit, man. But he has red on now, and some guy is bear hugged him from behind. That's nothing new. You got a Stone Cold Stunner. You see that shit? Yeah, I saw it. It's a Stone Cold set, so. Shout out to Mark Coronado. Yo, yo. Oh, he got to rape him? Look at him. He has his legs. He broke his leg. He didn't rape him. Nah, that was great, dog. That's why the guy's grabbing his woo-woo. <laughs> he touched my woo-woo. <laughs> you want him to touch your woo-woo. Shout out to the book Choke. Fucking phenomenal. Sex addicts for life. For La Vida's. Oh, shit. Oh, look at him. Okay, okay. That's, that's a little not, different. That's not like... It looks like a roach a little bit, though, the bat mobile. Well, that's one thing is I don't recall, actually, where you can ride in the previous games. Oh, I bet you knew how to ride. Oh, I know how to ride with the best of them. Now we got the Batmobile throwing it around. Let's see where he's going. Where are you going? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, like, of that Halo game a little bit when you get the Jeep. Well, he's going downstairs now. Oh, you got the Riddler popping up. Ah, uh, Mr. Enigma. He don't impress me. He don't impress me. My team. The graphics look pretty dope, though. But I guarantee you they'll give me a headache after fucking probably about 10 minutes. They're already giving me a headache. You know I can't stand this video game shit. You know what it is. Let's see what else is out there. All right, we, we touched Batman, Ark of Night. I would love to touch Batman. So let's get into uh, some Star Wars. Dun, 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 dun. 
So Star Wars Battlefront 3, they sent off at fucking E3 this week, correct? Battlefront 3? Battlefront? I think it's just Battlefront, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. Then it's a... Fuck me. Bend over. So is this where, like... The, is this the Star Wars one where you're like a stormtrooper or whatever throughout the game? Yeah, you'd be like all kinds of different characters or some shit. I know in Star Wars games I ever paid attention to the Lego ones. So it's going to be multi, uh, multiple player. I never really was a big gamer. This this trailer just looks fucking sick. It sounds like a movie. Too, right? Now it looks like you have 007 from 60, N64. Yeah. It's called First Player. I don't care what it's called. It looks like 007, damn it. All right, I believe you. But my Tommy gun, don't. Don't shoot me, bro. Anytime I ever hear somebody say Tommy gun, it reminds me of uh, Jim Carrey in The Mask. Uh, Tommy Gun. Jim Carrey was a legend. So, we're sitting here in first person mode. The graphics look fucking phenomenal, actually. They're not bugging me like the art, like the Batman game. Yeah, they're not. This looks like a really clear movie. I think because it's actually a trailer that they put out and not gameplay. Ah, so. Could be it. Maybe they're gonna make a game like this, too. Maybe somebody was game playing, and now. Well, uh, I'm sure whoever was game playing this was the, the video quality was rendered a lot better than what that other gameplay was that he found on. That oh, makes sense. Just went off grid. Look at that! Look at that! Is that a jetpack? I know everybody is pretty much hyped for this Battlefront game. Well, yeah, but Star Wars, you know, people are gonna cop it. Not even that. Like I know a lot of I know a lot of people that uh, that are not really too much into Star Wars, but they're just into like shoot first player shooting games or whatever. Okay. What are those called? Like RPG games or some shit like that. I think so. I thought RPG games were card games. Not nah, RPGs, role playing game. You're a role playing game. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, bro. Look, there's Jesse trying to crush everybody's dreams. So I here, here they're trying to take down. What are those called? The uh, Oh, you just took it down. <laughs> you just took it down. That's what you're going to call him? Yeah. What is it called, bro? Get a Star Wars uh, buff here? Don't talk to me, bro. I'm drinking. He has one beer and thinks he's fancy with his socks hanging out. I have one sock on, sir. It's on your dick. It's nasty. Why are you sitting so close? Why are you trying to put it in my face? Why are you not fighting me? I am fighting you, bro. With my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your mom told me how to fight before, too. Your dad showed me. Watch your mouth. Alright, I think I had enough of this. It looks dope. I'd say fucking play with it. Play with your cock. Either or. Fuck a joystick. Give it a nerd on. Nerd on? Nerd on. What do you give it? I give it a nerd sideways. Fair enough. Let's get into the next subject. Fair enough. You're a flare. Solar flare. Back to Superman's new uh, abilities. Watch your mouth. Kiss me in my mouth. Nobody wants to kiss you in your mouth. Lies, that's what you're trying to th- tongue me earlier. Like, oh, bro, you got me pizza. Ah. Sergio got me pizza. Sergio will get you shit. My herpes. Still pizza. Fuck mm. that dude, Sergio. Yeah, for real. But y'all fleek, though. Oh, yeah, it's solid with you, baby oil. So, Wolverine 3 rumored that it's actually going to be based on Old Man Logan. Come on, Madrid. What do you think about that one? I think it's going to be fucking dope. Why is I- that? I've been saying that since after uh, Wolverine 2 came out that they should do it as Old Man Logan. You know, especially with the rumors going around that he's going to be calling it quits and shit. They do that. They could set up a storyline where they could have his son Dakin come up and take on the mantle of Wolverine for future films and X-Men films. Yeah, that would be dope. Especially with the way Dakin's claws are. Those are fucking cool as fuck. Say Dakin ten times quick. Dakin, 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 Dakin. Turn nah, it like bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon,
know. Iron Man, I can say. I yeah, Iron Man just sucks, but... Uh, yeah. No, no, I'm just talking about Marvel's going to go to shit oh, because Marvel. of Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. is not playing Iron Man. Wolverine not being played by Hugh Jackman is going to go to shit. Oh, okay, fuck. I don't know. Wolverine, you could revamp it, like I said, using his son, using so many different other things. Iron Man, I can see. Yeah, fuck that. Tony Stark. It'd be hard to Tony replace Stark. Tony Stark. Or Robert Downey Jr. I think yeah. the same thing with Wolverine, man. The other characters will never get the sizzle or the fucking flame that Hugh Jackman created for Wolverine. I think we just, we're just used to one character. It's or been, one, what, 15, 20 years? It's been like, yeah, 14, 15 years. You think we were in high school... First, came, years, first one came out in 2000. Yeah, 2000. X-Men. That was the one that, the first one that really X-Men. catapulted the uh, the hero movies and shit, uh, superhero movies. And I think that's the thing, dude. That's one thing is we, I think not only just typecast, but what we see in pop culture, especially those franchises, that's what we want. So I don't know, man. It's going to be a really hard spin. Look, the, the way I see it is nobody's ever played that role in the past 15 years. As well as he has, which is why we're not. Yeah, I mean, we're not. We're not going to be able to see anybody else play Wolverine. Yeah. I mean, look at. I'm sure somebody will come in and they will play the fuck out of a Wolverine. Well, it's like this. I'm not. I'm not discrediting uh, Hugh Jackman whatsoever, but I still don't think he is the Wolverine looking type. I, he doesn't. He doesn't come up like in the comic books. He's like, you know, this more of a built dude kind of slouch. Fucking Hugh Jackman is just straight up jacked, tall. Not even tall, but just looks fucking tall, just because how jacked he is. Still doesn't look like Wolverine. I mean, aside from him being, you know, fucking hairy as fuck, I still don't think he looks like a Wolverine. I'm yeah. hairy. He's a great character. But I mean, let's look oh, at Joker. Actor. How many times, you know, Joker's been redone? Everything all know, no one's better than, you know, Joker from the Batman series. And then comes along. Wait, wait, wait. Joker's on every Batman series. The yeah. kind of TV show. From yeah, the '60s show? or whatever it was, what that Mexican dude? Yeah, Mexican dude. Everyone loved him as a Joker, and then comes along the movies with um, Keith Ledger. No, oh. Jack Nicholson. Jack, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. No one. And everyone says no one's gonna be a better fucking Joker than Jack Nicholson, and then fucking Heath Ledger comes along. Yeah, but okay. Wait, look at two different things. Our generation, when we talk about Batman, who the fuck are we talking about? Nicholson. Batman. Oh, we're talking about uh, Keaton. Tim Burton's Batman? Keaton exactly. Michael Mother. It's Michael Keaton all day. Right. We brought Christian Bell. Cool, but he ain't no fucking Batman. You know, because that's the weird thing. The cape is what made that character. Christian Bell wasn't shit. They could have put any monkey in there. This new shit with Ben Affleck might be a game changer. Mm. Mind you, the kids that will watch him as Batman will identify him, or Ben Affleck, as the Batman. You can already tell from the fucking trailer they released that it's gonna have more storyline to um, to um, Ben Affleck's Batman. Oh yeah, because Christian Bale's Batman was just like bad job. Yeah, it was. He didn't talk for shit. <laughs> Give me a throw lozenger. And that's what I. Well, I think Christian Bale's a fucking con. But when you know when Batman first came out, he was all on Christian Bale's nuts. No, I was never on Christian Y'all, Bale's nuts. Y'all, oh, Batman. Shit, no, you're always like Christian Bale, bro. Christian Bale's Batman. Damn, when fucking Terminator came out, he was in it, bro. You guys don't understand. It's gonna be the best Terminator ever because Christian Bale's doing it. You're on drugs. No, I put that hand to Bob. Put that on twelve stacks of cheeseburgers. He was a liar and a fool. Four by so four from four by four in and out. <laughs> from in and out. So we, we, we good on this subject? We moving? Oh, we moving on now? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Fuck you. I've always hated Christian Bale because he's just a fucking cunt. He's just like the worst type of person. No, bro, you went low with Christian Bale for a hot minute. You're fucking off your rocker. Let's call Matt Rios. Call fucking Matt Rios. No, no, that's what my calls. Exactly. You call Matt Rios. He'll answer me. Yeah, exactly. We'll get to the bottom of this. So we're going to move on. Let's go to Hellboy 3. Hellboy 11 to Trace. So we got Ron Perlman. 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 He's been out there. He he talked about it last week. You know, that he he wants to hit up the internet, let's start getting the wave so we can make the a boy 3 come out, right? Right. Well, now he officially said it won't be crowdfunded. What Next do you guys think about that? Do you think that would have been a better approach? Nah, I don't think he would be able to get the budget that they would need to make Cowboy as great as it is, you know, visualize, visual-wise, you know, with the crowdfund. Do you think with all the powerhouses that will back him and actors that want to be a part of it, want to sit there and tell their people, hey guys, come fucking do this. 
throw some money to get some perks. Possibility. I think he would have more creative control with it, that route, but you're getting a big studio to back you up. Why not go with it? If they take it, they're going to take it. Someone will take it. Hopefully, it doesn't, hopefully it doesn't happen what uh, happened to Constantine. Fuck. Why are you bullshit? Old hurtful shit. I know, man. Yeah, that still hurts to this day. Bro. Netflix, pick it up. Don't be a bitch. Or Hulu. Don't be a bitch neither. Or AMC. Or AMC. Pick that shit up. Don't be a bitch. All right. Or HBO. Or All right. There you go. <laughs> pick that shit up. Jesse Eisenberg will be attending Batman vs Superman Comic Con panel. What do you think about that? Oh yeah, he said it was gonna be like an hour long panel. God damn. I That's think they're gonna good. reveal some good shit, dude. Oh fuck yeah. So, they're saying that Sony and Paramount will not be at this Comic-Con. What do you think about that? Why aren't they going to I thought Marvel wasn't going to be in there either. Or they weren't going to have a panel. Why is this? Are they trying to just keep this shit hush-hush? Or they're just like, fuck you to a certain... I think with those kind of dudes... They they get tired of having to go every year and... Fuck yeah. Putting shit out. Look at it this way. They have multi-billions and billions of dollars that go out every year. That they make off of video games, other shit, besides just movies. There's such a tap market right now, and their superhero brands aren't really taking as much as everybody else's. Batman's like pretty much a legend. Fucking Marvel's Marvel. You know, they have like their sister stuff, so they're like, why are we going to go over there and promote when they're probably going to do it already? That's true. true. Free promotions, free eats. So we got a video truck flips on uh, the set of Captain America. I don't want to watch it. No? No. Okay, Madrid? I'm still against watching fucking leaked shit. I was listening to uh, Batman on Batman the other day, uh, where Kevin Hart was, or Kevin Hart, Kevin Smith was talking about uh, uh, people in, in Toronto or wherever they, the um, uh, Suicide Squad movies being filmed. Yeah. And he was just like, it's so easy to get access to all these like leaked videos and footages of it's like you're pretty much just gonna watch the movie from all this leaked crap that's being put out there just piece it together like a yeah. puzzle I'm still against watching leaked shit I think it depends unless it's that Batman trailer I was all hyped over Fuck but that was just a trailer it wasn't like they're fucking putting out like on set videos and shit so right now let's look at another trailer we're gonna look at Kung Fu Panda 3 oh shit my movie fuck Jack Black whoa I, I should've been that voiceover you should have just been Jack Black. Yeah, that's true. Now I can never master Jack Black's comedic genius. He is pretty awesome. Yeah, he is. We got the same hair, though. Wow. So it starts I don't know. off with a tiger. I'd fuck the tiger. Tiger. Yeah. Not the monkey, though. So we got everybody coming through. Like, the first scene is them actually flying in the air. Or tea. Oh, Japanese style. I weigh. Is that me and Frank? Mm-hmm. No, nah, dude, you gotta find your own master. Frankie? He's gonna have a family, ain't he? No, it's dad, remember? Who are you? Like, you can't see him? <laughs> Lee Shannon's coming in, huh? Trying to pick up on his kid. Well, if you remember in the second one, at the end of the end scenes or whatever, he smiles his Poe's ass or whatever from a great distance. He's like, my son's alive. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbasses. Now, this is me and my dad the first time we met. Except for my dad asked me if I, if I screwed yet, and I was like, Which one out of all of them? A real one. <laughs> so it's pretty much them just arguing and complimenting each other that hopefully they can find their significant person they're looking for. When everybody sees, it's them. Lucy Liu. Rebel Wilson. And the whole cast is back. I'm going to love this one. The first two are great. Poe right. likes to eat. I like to eat. Jack Black's amazing. Jack Black's amazing. My girl Lucy Liu's on it. Seth Rogen. Seth motherfucking Rogen. Angelina Jolie. Eh. Is she? Oh, yeah. She's like, what is She's chick. a tiger. Tatum talks about Gambit and he'll be in the X-Men Apocalypse. What do you guys think about that? Should we look more into that? 
I still think he's going to do a good chance. Uh, uh, good chance. I do. <laughs> he's going to play himself real well. No, I think he's going to be a good Gambit. Are you guys going to like the other guy who played Gambit from X-Men 1? Or Wolverine 1? Uh, Tyler Kish or whatever yeah. his name is. I liked him. I liked I think he did all right yeah. for the little screen time that he had. Now, watch movie? From Wolverine Origins. I just didn't like the fucking movie. Shit. Yeah, the movie was kind that of was cheesy. So, I like the fact that they had all the characters, like they had the blob in there, you know, Sabretooth and all that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, it's just, the beginning opened up real well. You opened up real well. In the beginning? Yeah. Ah, ah. This is ah. one I've actually been really excited about. We're actually going to be talking about TMNT Part 2. They revealed Casey Jones' vehicle. Oh, it's a vehicle now. There it is. Oh, it's a car. It's a RT. It looks like... Like the remote control ones? SRT Challenger? Yeah, but I think this is an 8. And it's all flat back. It's all fat back, dog? Fat back? Fun of me? Oh, man, bro. You know I am. Make fun of my back boobs. Is that easy holding his kid? Yeah, he was just on set, just chilling out. He has a kid? Yeah, on set. That's crazy. Not like in the movies, but like... No, I know. In real life, motherfucker. Shit, you're cute. I know. I get a beer and I get to turn into a whore. Jesse, drink your beer, dog. I am. I'm pretty down. much like... Probably sipping it. Look at that. I'm further than you. So he's looking at this car. So this looking car at that's going to be in the movie. It's a Dodge Challenger at SRT. Wasn't well, Casey and Jones broke? Maybe it's a... Maybe fucking, it's, a it's a rebound. Maybe he stole it. Mm. Yeah, but what if the cops caught, you know... They didn't Ninja it. Turtles not learn fucking... Or didn't... Uh, he's not a ninja, though. Well, what's his name? Uh, the Rat? Splinters? Yeah, Master Splinter. Didn't he learn fucking karate from his master, not the fucking book? Well played, sir. Well played. Second one, Dick? Nope. It wasn't karate. It was ninjutsu. Tomato potato. Same shit. I think it's going to be a little dope. Let's just make sure it's not all queerified. So, moving forward. Moving forward. Moving forward. So they're going to have a Deadpool, Chimichanga, Comic-Con exclusive statue revealed? Yeah. Eh. Eh. I want Chimichangas, though. We always want Chimichangas. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, who's that princess, huh? Well, this is all based off the Game of Thrones, and we all heard the madness on social media. I don't even want to go there, dude. I give a fuck less. What madness for Game of Thrones? It was the final season and how it ended. Sir, do you want to get on that? How they raped her or something like that? I have no idea. Watch. I heard about it. The... I wasn't. I'm not on game with this. With, with Game of Thrones, I'm not up to up to date with it. But I heard it was like some rape scene, and just like from like the head girl, whoever the star. I think it was like uh, Queen Sansa or whatever the fuck they call her, or some shit. But there was so much controversy behind it. Everybody was talking about it. But doesn't Game of Thrones pretty much just one big softcore? From what I hear, they're always showing boobs and killing people. Well, yeah, but it's just people don't fucking want to. One they want they don't want to accept that it's it's a show taking part. Oh, part with over rape and shit like that. Yeah, it's, uh-huh. it's just weird, dude. Did you guys hear about um, common characters? How he how they release uh, pictures of him on set with all those tattoos and like piercings on his nose or whatnot? And there were so much speculation, the rumors of him being um, a certain character that are kind of now being true, uh, which is, he's playing the tattooed man, or whatever the tattooed, uh, I, don't, I forgot what his name was, but, uh, him and then uh, Scott Eastwood is, is um, there was pictures of him leaked with his name tattooed on his chest or something like that, and it has said like S. Wilson, short for Slade, Slade Wilson, which is Deathstroke on, on DC uh, Comics. So it looks like both of those characters already have set names. So for Commons characters, it's supposed to be the one from like the Electro comics where the, the tattoos actually come to life and shit as animals? I don't know. I think so. Because I think if that's it, I think his name is Tattoo. Tattoo something. What the fuck is it? Tattoo. Tattoo extravaganza. Tattooed man or some shit like that. Tattooing. But yeah, so they, those were kind of like confirmed. I don't know. I don't really care for Common. I never have either. 
Kamen was dope. No, I meant like like as an actor. Like I can't really sit here and say a movie that really stands Don't out. Don't tell me the one with Queen Latifah because I will fucking cut your head off right now. <laughs> what, was that the holiday or some shit? Uh, no, that's Alan Cool Chris, J. That's Alan Cool J. Alan Cool J got some fucking acting chops. What there. about uh, the one with the movie Ace or whatever? Aces? Whatever? Smoking Aces? Yeah, he did. Alicia right. Keys? Yeah, he did. fucking annoying. He, he, Common though, his performance is pretty good. No way. Can yeah. he play something that's not stereotyped? Or he plays the same fucking character every time? No, nah, bro, just stick with what you know. Same fucking thing every time. But did you like it? No. Lies. I liked the movie, but that was probably him and Alicia Keys should have fucked off in that movie. But yeah, they should have gotten it on for real. No, no, they should have just fucked off. Yeah. Hey, baby he, girl. I think he did it right in that movie. No, that movie was just dope, and I think it was because that fucking dude, Artie from Entourage, he made that fucking movie. Mm. Moving forward, since my friend has no taste. I don't know. About David Ayer's ever. behind it, so I'm for it. I don't like Common, but I'm sure they'll they'll transform him into a good actor somehow, some way. I used to love it. Uh, the less he uh, says, the better it'll be for his character. Damn, bro. He ain't Jaden Smith. Well, speaking about people that nobody gives a shit about. Jesse's birthday's coming up. <laughs> oh, are we talking about James O'Barr? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We could have to say up. something hurtful. We could bring up James O'Barr. Fuck him and his shitty ass productions. Well, oh, didn't didn't the, the lead actor or whatever drop another one drop out? Yeah, yeah. The, well, not another one. The latest, the latest one. The latest Jack, one. Jack Hussey. Yeah, uh, Jack Hussey. Dipped. James O'Barr needs to quit being a fucking cunt and hit me up and just say, Jesse, run the production because I'm a piece of shit. What if he hits you up and says, "Hey, I'm sorry," and just come hang out with me for the day? Is he gonna be like, "Oh, James O'Barr, I love you in every podcast"? No. What do you think, Serge? Uh, no. I think yes. You want to say yes because you want to make me look bad, you fucking... Bro, it's not making you look bad. You're probably going to meet your hero. I don't have a hero You guys are going to make ice cream cones together. No, we're not. You guys are going to go go get some uh, thrifty's ice cream. Yeah, Brandon Lee's dead. Bruce Lee's dead. Einstein's dead. Shows how much you know about me. Moving forward, let's look at the... You're like none of those guys. X-Files. Oh, what the I never fuck? really got into X Files. I always thought Mulder was in the bank scully and never. Were, were they producing already? Well, yeah. they're actually filming, they're filming, and there's a crash scene, so they're coming back pretty strong, dude. I think this is gonna this will be one of those series that because they went for quite a few fucking seasons, bro. It was like twelve seasons or ten, some shit like that. Is it a movie or another show? This is a show. So what is like a, a sequel to X Files? I I think it's just continuing on. Like here it goes. Like hey, we probably like, had a little, you know, we probably were abducted all these years. It's and actually a six series miniseries. Six episodes? Yep. I don't know. I oh, care. they are going to bang. I could care less. What? I don't know. I like UFOs and I like dudes who are sexaholics. No, that said, that they came out wrong. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Bro, continue drinking this beer, though. <laughs> Let's see what you're really about. You know. But you're not a sexaholic, so why are you trying to he's probably get him drunk? He, but he's going to try to make it to the sexaholics. No, he said he likes dudes that are sexual. I know, we didn't try to make us because we're dudes. We wouldn't have anything to do with that. We're, we're not sexaholics. That stupid is hearing me say he's trying to make us into sexaholics. Why would he want to make somebody a sexaholic? So we can fuck him because he's weird. You're, you're crazy. You're crazy. Anyways, moving on. I saw you guys making out earlier, don't lie. You're on some gay shit tonight, Madrid. Nah, bro, I had a beer. Yeah, you want some dick. I want some of the rest of my beer? Nope. You ain't down. I just said no, thank you. No, you didn't. You said no. No, sir. You cannot make me do stuff I don't want to. Lies. So what else do we got? Oh, you know, we got some of this and some of that. I think we're done. No, I don't think so. Is that Nicolas Cage? Yep. Oh, the Need for Speed game was released. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the crow. Jack Hudson. Smart move, bro. One Piece. James oh, Bar, One Piece won an award, didn't they, for longest running original manga? I think so, but Forrest Whitaker is on board for The Rogue, which is that Star Wars. Uh, oh, that's true. Star Wars movie. So I, I really like Forrest Whitaker. He's a, he's, he's, he's a solid dude. Forrest I've never Whitaker. disliked any of his movies. Yeah. I, I've disliked the movies, I've never disliked him. I ain't gonna lie, I watched The Butler today. Oh, yeah. And, like, there was that part. If you see it at the end where you see everything and it's when Barack wins the election and how he's crying and his son just kind of holds his head. 
I fucking cried a little bit. It was just like, I will never ever see the pain that that man not only saw eternally and externally, but his mission as a human and everything he went through and kept going in a positive way. It was fucking nuts. And like, you know, like what Malcolm X says in that movie. It was, it, it just made me cry. I ain't gonna lie. Teared up a little bit. So, well, this is one thing I did want to go on to get away from my bitchism. We actually have... Which is never. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. He ain't lying. With the reboot of Halloween. What do you guys think? Halloween's every year, though. So how they going to reboot it? That's really hilarious. That's hilarious. Serge, what do you think? I'm the... Dude, did they already fucking if I tell it? you, If I tell you the story... Of a man named Brady. No, if I tell you the story of why I don't watch horror movies and I could care less for them... It'll fuck it. I'll, you gotta tell us now. I'll embarrass the shit out of myself. You gotta tell us now, bro. We're on the podcast. We're I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I, don't I, I, I wouldn't say embarrassed, but it's just a story from my childhood. Well, let's hear it. We have time. Nah, dude. I used to get. I used to. They used to make me watch scary movies back in the day, and they. I mean, my brothers, my siblings, and then just like neighborhood friends or whatever. One ha- one night we happened to watch. Uh, Child's Play or whatever it was with Chucky and all that shit and I fucking ended up waking up with a fucking just puddle of piss all over the bed it was like two of us that spent the night or whatever it was just fucking piss all over the fucking bed never again have I ever watched a horror, a horror movie did you blame it on your friend though? I blamed it on somebody I don't remember though I was I, I had to have been under 10 years old for sure I know they didn't fucking put your hand in warm water when you're sleeping maybe that did it but I know I didn't want to go take a piss the night before because I was scared of going to the bathroom <laughs> which is why I don't watch horror movies <laughs> that is so awesome yeah put a little piss oh, I and it wasn't even at my house it was at the neighbor's house fuck <laughs> like, like right next door did you get us walked home well it was more like we used to live in these shitty apartments back in the day and the landlord, we were really cool with the landlord. So, like, his kids were our age, and they invited us over to go watch movies or whatever, and that's what happened. You <laughs> pissed in the landlord's bed? Landlord's kid's bed. <laughs> what did the landlord say? No, I don't, I don't remember, dude, but it was such a Because I just called the super ago. hook unit up. But it was awesome. It was <laughs> awesome that I pissed all over the bed, but then making me watch fucking horror movies. <laughs> that was fucking awesome, sir. Yeah. All right, they were judging you? That's all right. Yep. That's why I don't watch horror movies. That's why Notebook still continues to be my favorite movie to this day. Fuck and that I watch, landlord, son. And it, which is why I watch indie movies all day, every day. So Halloween, how many times are they going to remake this shit? I don't know. The last one was a pretty good run. Because they had like the whole production by uh, Rob Zombie. You know, they had some pretty solid dudes. Uh, Danny Trejo, you know what I mean? He was in there. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was actually a nice dude to... Fucking uh, Michael Myers. So what else you guys got, fellas? I ain't got nothing. They should just remake Pumpkinhead. That was a good movie. I think that was pretty sweet. Yeah, I remember that. When he falls into the thing and that little friend saves him, and then later on he tries to kill his daughter. He's like, no, remember we were friends. And he's like, okay, I'm not gonna throw your daughter in here. Sums it up. I love it. So anything else? Mmm. Sergio piss himself. Anything else? That's all I got. That's all I got. I'm Golden. All right, this is Jesse Lozano. We're here at Retro Mics, and we're signing it off. Make sure to hear us at www. I'm just playing. www.nerdwithballs.com and nerdwithballs.com on Facebook. Nerdwithballs.com on Facebook. Nerdwithballs on Facebook. You mean Facebook? Bro, I'm still learning slash. social media. Forward slash backward smiley face. Um, fuck you, Serge. Sarah, you got anything? Follow us on Nerdle Balls AZ on Instagram and Nerdle Balls on Twitter. And we're posting all the cool shit that your kids and your mamas and your mama's mamas and your daddy's mamas would like to watch. Or hear. Or hear. Or read. Or read. But West Side. Tamale off. All right. See you guys later. Hit see you up. next week. Issue four. Get ready to have your panties wet. Yeah, motherfuckers. Fanboys.